Hey, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Sit and Spin featuring me, your host, Joe, and uh, still no Norm, the bionic dog. He's off on the mend. Uh, I try, toyed with the idea of uh, maybe filming upstairs and trying to get him in on the action again, but that has proved out to be uh, not as easy as I thought it would. So, doing the show down here without him yet again. But he's doing well. He's on the mend. First starting to grow back in. He's on the heel. He's still got some months of recovery ahead of him, but... That's not why you came here. Maybe it is, and appreciate it if it is. But uh, hopefully, you came here to find out about some cool new music, even if some of it's been around for a while, just in a different form. Today, we are talking about Radio Jellyfish, the new, new, new released versions of old songs from the band Jellyfish, from the fine folks at Omnivore Records. And this is going to sound like I'm doing a commercial for Omnivore Records, even though I'm not. But Fine folks there, Cheryl Palaweski, Ali Lagoida, and all the other folks who work at um, Omnivore Records have seen fit to make themselves my favorite reissue label of the last few years. One of the reasons for that being that uh, they like a lot of cool music, and they've uh, made a lot of it that hasn't been available for around for a while, available again, and even some stuff that has been sitting in the vaults languishing, they've put out. One of those bands being the band Jellyfish, probably the finest power pop band that ever was. Uh, they only put out two studio albums in their time. Omnivore seemed fit to release them on vinyl, reissue them. Their initial pressings came on colored vinyl. It's pretty cool. And also really some cool things that uh, never went heard from the band before, like the Live at Bogart's release. This is also really cool. comes on blue vinyl with an etched fourth side. They put out the Stack of Tracks release on CD last year, which I was actually really surprised didn't get a vinyl release. Maybe there'll be one in the future. And most recently, Radio Jellyfish, which is very cool. This is 10 tracks, 9 of which are previously unreleased, uh, representing live acoustic versions of many of the band's finest songs recorded off their two albums Belly Button and Spilt Milk, and that they were originally recorded on radio promotional stops in Holland and Australia back in 1993, 20 years ago already. Crazy. And uh, it's the Spilt Milk era of the band who's performing them, so it would basically be Andy Sturmer on lead vocals, drums, and percussion. Roger Joseph Manning on keyboards, percussion and vocals, Tim Smith on bass, but he's pretty much playing acoustic guitar on a lot of these tunes, and Eric Dover on guitar. What's really cool about this release uh, is, as, as usual, Omnivore, fine, fine job, cool packaging, like nice psychedelic shot. When you open it up, ah, look at that, even more cool jellyfish psychedelia, really cool album notes on the back, and if that's not enough, you know, nice 180 gram vinyl, and early pressings on, check it out, clear vinyl. And, um, you know, vinyl's not your thing. It's available on CD, too. You know, you go out and pick it up that way. If you've never heard of Jellyfish, and I don't know, you need to, um, this is a great place to start. They often say that the best way to tell if a song is a good song is if you can strip it back to its most bare essentials, just the bare minimum, and it still holds up, you know you've got an awesome song. Perfect example of that. Uh, just great, great tunes stripped back it, in a new setting for the fans like me who have like, gotten familiar with them. Just a chance to hear them in a new light, and it's really, really cool. And again, man, you know, you never heard the band? Go out, pick up this record. Start from there. Go back. Work your way back to the beginning in the early catalogs. Great, great stuff. You won't be disappointed in it. Uh, great stuff. So, again, thanks to the fine folks at Omnivore Records for yet again another stellar release. Cheryl, I'm still waiting for news. When you're going to put out the records by that other man who will remain nameless for now, but you know who I'm talking about, and that will just absolutely make my day. And folks, uh, I've sweared to keep my lips sealed on this, uh, but when the, that news does hit, uh, there will be a lot of happy people out there aside from just me. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the show. Thanks to uh, Gino over at the Riff of the Day, my good brother who for, filled in for me last week, hijacked my show and filmed an episode for me because I've just been really tied up with Norman, busy working, trying to get some Christmas shopping started. <laughs> Haven't even started yet. Got to go out and do that after I'm done with this. And, uh, you know, the other fine guys over the Riff of the Day, Truck Driver Sean, my brother Melo Pete from back in the school days. And hopefully you're also checking out my good friend Scott at Righteous Vinyl, whose stuff I post here all the time as well. And thanks for tuning in again, you know. Uh, hopefully I'll have maybe one more show for you. If not, uh, I'm going to try to do a uh, year in review, but I'll probably save that for the beginning of next year. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next time on Sit and Spin. Hope you guys have some happy holidays and Merry Christmas, Christmaka. Hanukkah, whatever your thing may be. And uh, just get out there, be good to your fellow man, and spread the love. 
We'll talk to you next time on Sit and Spin. See you later.